Looks like Netflix has yet their biggest opening and biggest movie yet. With the newest film, Red Notice, which stars three of the biggest stars on the planet, Dwayne Johnson, Ryan Reynolds, and Gal Gadot. Oh man, this movie is awesome. And I'm going to tell you why. Red Notice reads, In a world of international crime, an Interpol agent attempts to hunt down and capture the world's most wanted art thief. The movie is directed by uh, Ross and Marshall Thurber, best known for Dodgeball, We're the Millers, Central Tums, and most recently Skyscraper. This is his third time working with uh, uh, Dwayne Johnson. This was a great movie, great action, great back and forth banter, great scenery. I mean, my gosh, this movie was so much fun. And of course, it stars Dwayne Johnson as John Harley, Ryan Reynolds as Nolan Booth, Gal Gadot as the Bishop, Chris, don't know how to pronounce his name, as Soto Vos, I think that's how you pronounce that, and Ritu Aria as Urvashi Das. Oh man, I'm almost out of breath already. Uh, this was a fun movie. Like I said, everything was great. This is the kind of movies I wish Hollywood would make all the time, but of course they don't because they make crap most of the time. Uh, but let's walk you through some key details from the movie that I that you would find very interesting. So basically the movie's about uh, these three golden eggs that were given to Cleopatra. Uh, and the whole movie's about finding them. Within the first, I don't know how many minutes, we find the first one, uh, Dawson Hartley. Uh, it's right there in front of them, but he knows it's a fake. Because of this thing that's supposed to monitor, I guess, heat or something. All of a sudden, uh, this is where we meet uh, Booth, played by Reynolds, who actually has the real egg. And they have this awesome chase, you know, running and then riding. I think uh, Harley was in a car. I forgot what Reynolds was in. I don't think it was a motorcycle. I think it was something else. But there's this awesome chase until so he finally is captured. But then Doss thinks that Harley's also a bad guy. She was given some tip or something. I forgot what. So they sent him to the same prison as Booth, and they end up being roommates. And this is where the beginning of that great banter really takes place. And then this is also where we're introduced to the bishop for the first time, played by Godot. Some banter, and then she leaves, and then eventually they escape the prison. They go to Soto Vos's big mansion, where he has a secret room full of art and just artifacts. Great treasures. Bishop, Harley and Booth are there. There's an awesome fight scene, because there's the second egg is in there. Doss was there undercover. She and her Interpol agents show up. Uh, but then the three of them get away. Bishop and Vos basically capture them. This stuff going on. And then this is where we find out the biggest, the first of two big uh, twists is that the Bishop was working alone. She was just using Vos. Basically, she kind of puts him in his drink to kind of knock him out for a little bit. And then he just, go he just, you know, he's kind of loopy a little bit like, oh, like where he points his gun. He's like, oh, I'm missing. And, and then, uh, Harley and Booth escape by going up this entrance. All of a sudden, they're in the... Well, we knew this before, Hank. They show where they are. They're in the Coliseum where they're doing bullfighting. And they have this funny bit where Booth thinks by controlling the bull, it should be like Jurassic Park. And then one by one, he's like finding... He's figuring out, oh my gosh, yeah, it's from Jurassic Park. I'm Jeff Goldblum. And then the bull comes, hits Hartley, knocks him out. And then they eventually get out of there and go to this island... I think there's something before that, but I can't remember. But they end up on this island where they find the third egg. And, of course, the bishop's there to meet them. And then this is where we find out the, the second biggest twist and probably the best thing out of the movie. The bishop and Harley were in on this the whole time. That's right. Harley is actually an art thief. And he and the bishop are in love. And... and uh, Boots' face is like shocking, and then they walk through the whole thing of like, oh, how this happened, and how they were using him, and then they eventually handcuff him to this tr tree. Doss is there with her agents; they take him in. But then, fast forward, we're in Egypt, where they're having this big event, and where they're putting the three eggs in this sarcophagus, or whatever it's called. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention that Ed Sheeran makes a cameo. Kind of weird, but anyway, back to the review. You know, and of course. The bishop and Harley are celebrating, and fast forward on this little yacht, and all of a sudden Booth comes out from the bottom and explains how he actually how he escaped and how he knew where they were gonna be. And basically tells them, there's this other thing I want to get. And in the end they end up working together in the end, which set it up for a sequel, and I hope we get a freaking sequel, because this was so good. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you check out Red Notice. This movie is so awesome. Uh if you got a nice good size screen, big screen TV, you watch it on there. 
put that volume up. It's so fun, so funny. And again, awesome in every way. These are the kind of movies, this is the kind of movies we want. So thank you, Netflix, despite a lot of the crap that you make, just like Hollywood does. This movie is awesome. Go check it out. See you next time.